Welcome to Creek Fishing Adventures. This is my channel. I'm John. Something crazy just happened. I was just uh, kind of not doing much today. It's Monday. I was planning on getting caught up editing some videos, answering comments. And then all of a sudden I get a call from the guys over at Nico. Nico products and stuff I, I use a lot. And they just asked me to go on a fishing trip tomorrow in Florida, 12 hours away. So uh, yeah, of course I said yes, you know, let's go. So um, I'm going to fish with some guys that I've, I've talked to several times and I've, you know, I use a lot of their products and you know, I've been working with them. I've been using their stuff for like four years. And now I get to meet up with them. Uh, I get to go on a fishing trip in Florida. Um, they've already paid for like the, the trip that's down there and everything. So I got about 12 hours of drive. So I got to right now get loaded up, start getting packed. Either going to leave tonight or leave first thing in the morning so I can get down there. And um, let's see what happens. All right. So here we are eating supper. It's 630 and I'm heading south. So uh, I got everything packed up, organized, loaded up best I could. Uh, got all my Nico products, got my rods and reels kind of organized, organized the rest of my tackle and uh, some clothes and stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and head down, start heading there, drive, you know, several hours. It is, it's about 11 hours to where we're meeting at tomorrow night. So that way we can get ready to go fishing Wednesday morning. So this is the next step. And um, tomorrow uh, we'll get up and drive through Florida. I don't know if I'll do any fishing or not, but uh, at least I'll be meeting up with them and it'll be fine. Here, sort of. I'm about five minutes away where I'm gonna meet up with the guys, but um, I, I have to catch a fish before I meet them. It's driving me crazy. So I'm down in Jupiter, Florida, and I'm like, I'm gonna find somewhere, and there's just canals everywhere. So I'll just look over, pull in this parking lot, there's a huge canal. I gotta get a fish out of here. It's a little fish we're hitting at it. I know, oh, there's some blue, oh, there's a little bass right there, and there's some bluegill. Oh, come on. There's one, there's one. There's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Only took me a few minutes here. I've seen several bass. I just couldn't get one to hit. All right, welcome back to Florida. A little largemouth on a crawl. I think that's the galaxy. All right, that's one. Hopefully, many to go in this next couple days. All right, I've been out for about 15 minutes. Gonna go another 15 minutes. Got a little wax worm on there. See if I can get a, some of these sunfish to bite. I've been seeing a lot of them. I don't know what they want to hit though. Oh, it's a bass. Get up here. Oh, he's stuck in the weeds. Look at that, that's a little bit bigger than the first bass I caught. Caught him on a little wax worm. Well, I thought we were gonna get some bluegill and end up getting another bass. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I got my little bluegill. Alrighty. They got a, they're a little more colorful. They got bars on them compared to uh, the ones near me. Let's get a little picture. I can, these, these, every time I come down to these places, these canals, there's just so much fish in there. There's all kinds of little bass. There's probably big fish swimming through. All kinds of little sunfish, little bluegill and stuff. It's, just, it's crazy. <laughs> all right, time to do some fishing. And we were not plan on doing some fishing in the dark and in town, but guess what I got? Finally met up with my Nico people here. Got Scott and Robert, right? Doug, Doug Roberts. Doug. I, that's, that's all right. Doug and Scott. <laughs> we'll get it right. But uh, I, uh, 
Scott's the one that actually sent me my first uh, packet of Nico stuff, and he actually created the Helgramite, right? That's right. And all that. So hopefully we'll be getting some more video with them tomorrow, but it's dark. We're going to try to do some fishing at a spot where it's might tell us to go and try to fish. So we'll see if we can get some. You gotta say something. I didn't know you had anything. You have that little um, weird paddle thing you're gonna do? The one that, I, that I've been wanting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's nice. Alright, Scott gets our first fish in. A little snook. Hey. On a lure you can't get. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we got them. We got them. <laughs> oh, they're back in? Well, I gotta get some of those now. <laughs> they're brand new. They're not on the site yet, but they will be very soon. Oh, okay. They work on snook. <laughs> oh! I had a little bump. I think I had a little hit. I may hit a rock, I don't know. Oh, it was a little thump. I don't know if it was the big one or not, but it was a, something thumped it. Oh, oh, come on. Just broke my line. <laughs> he hit it all the way that time. He hit. Yeah, that's. I'm good at almost. There he is. The fish chasing that bait fish. Oh, I see it. Right there. Oh, there's a little snook hitting at that bait fish. <sighs> well, I'm gonna leave that corner alone, and all the fish that I missed over there, and we're gonna head up out of here and um, go back to the motel, get some sleep, get up, get ready to do some real fishing tomorrow. That's right. Or really catching fish. You go get some peacocks tomorrow. That's right. Well, good morning from sunny, beautiful, warm Jupiter, Florida. I think we're going for peacock bass and maybe some other like really cool stuff that I've never caught before. So uh, I think this is gonna be a very interesting day for me for sure. So get ready and I'll try to film it all and show it to you. Yes, sir! Right where Captain Allen said they would be. Oh man, there's a couple of them. A couple of them. Oh man! Ooh. <laughs> Look at this dude! Oh, all right. Dude, I never caught one with a hump on his head like that. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Oh man, these guys are strong. Can't even hold on, hold on to them. I used the uh, dark colored Helgramite. And man, look at the hump on that thing. Dude, let's get him back in there. I know there's bigger ones than that, and that dude's a beast. Yeah, oh, stay on there. Man, they hammer this thing. Ah! And it came off. Oh, 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 that was a big one. I've only caught one so far. I've had a bunch of hits come off. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Yeah, that's a good one. There's a bunch of them with it right here. Oh yeah. I gotta speed that thing up a little bit. Yeah, I know. I've I've seen the giants. I never caught any of the big ones, but these guys are are amazing. Just this size right here, you know. And I could do that all day and <laughs> be totally happy with it. All right, another one on the Helgramite. Just a beast. Dude, thanks so much. Uh, Douglas is holding the camera for me. Um, we're about to leave to go to another spot, and I just flipped the Helgramite in. Like, I got to flip it in over here. And second cast, this dude just hammered it. Just screaming drag. Um, good thing I got him a heavier setup. The Obsidian Helgramite just got him. <laughs> that is awesome. It's got to be at least three, three and a half pounds. Dude, I'm swimming off. Yeah, finally. Got a uh, cichlid. Just kept working this area with the tadpole. There's a bunch of cichlids on beds right here. Man, these guys are strong. Oh, he just swallowed that thing too. There, yeah, that's a nice little free fish right there. Uh, yeah, keep on going straight a little bit. Oh, oh, dude, that's a big old peacock. There he is. There he is. Twitch it. Yep. Oh, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. You're on a little barrier. Twitch it a little bit faster. Here he goes. Go, 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 go. Oh, got him, got him, got him. There he is right there. There's what he went for. That Helgramite fish top water. Um, with Nico, you've got so many different varieties of ways to fish this bait. And it just, those uh -huh. colors on it are so bright. The cameras never really capture how bright those are. It's, it's hard to do a video. He's got me going so fast. Oh. oh. I'm going to be on your right side. Oh yeah, I got a little guy. Man, there's a million fish in there. Is that horse side? There's a little one. That's the horse side. Oh. Oh, you had another one right here at the boat. Do it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is my first snook this trip. Well, only my second ever if I get him in. Oh, yeah. Little paddle tail. Fun little guys, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. All right, I think we can see that. We're trying to get some pictures here. But uh, that's actually the biggest snook I ever caught. <laughs> but I've only caught one before. Bring it to bring it, yeah. And um, I'm just moving a little flex, what's it called again? Flex tail. Flex tail. I'm going to get the name of it one of these brand, days. Brand new bait from Nico. I'm going to have to get some more of these for sure. He hammered it. Right. Big shout out to Larry. Yeah. I think we got it. There we go. All right. Well, what you just saw was a slow fishing day in South Florida. Anywhere else, that'd be a fantastic day. But it actually was a slow day of fishing. Uh, even our guy that was taking us around said the fish are just not biting. Talked to a bunch of other people and they were just having a hard time catching fish, but there's so many fish. We, we did a lot of different stuff today. Um, kind of, we went in a few different places and we were trying to film some stuff. I was trying to uh, help film while watching other people fish. And I, I did some fishing myself and uh, it was just a, kind of a strange day all around, you know, a bunch of different stuff, but I just had a fun time. It's only, you know, only four or five hours that we spent. And I still caught all those fish and just, and then driving around from spot to spot. Man, I'm th so thankful and glad I got this opportunity to come down here and glad I'm able to do this YouTube full time to be able to just take advantage of coming down and doing a trip like this. But definitely been a great time. Thanks for watching. That's gonna end this one. And hopefully there's more coming.
All right, that side is covered in iguanas on those rocks. It's crazy that they don't stand out though. We got all kinds of turtles. Oh, there they are, right there. Some big old fish right there. Along with it, all these turtles, all these iguanas, and going down the side. And then look out there in that field. It's just, look at all those things, all those heads popped up. And it probably just goes and goes and goes. Just through somebody's yards here.